Welcome. This is the second in a series of short lectures on the subjects of statistical quality assurance and statistical process improvement, structured around a six-step quality assurance cycle laid out in this table from the textbook of Bartman and Job. We're ready to begin with the technical content of the course, and we're going to speak about step number one and two tools uh, in this in this table in this in this short video. So a first step in under in improving a process is almost always to gain some physical understanding of how that process works. No matter no amount of clever data analysis or statistical magic is going to help if you don't understand how a process is configured, uh, how, its, how its steps are interrelated, and that begins often with the use of, of very simple process mapping tools. Uh, these, the two tools that we're going to speak about here uh, can help to show where data are needed and they can help to identify potential sources of variation that is sources of lack of quality. We're going to speak here about something called a fishbone or Ishikawa diagram and then we're going to talk about uh, the use of a flowchart. Here's an example of a simple fishbone or Ishikawa diagram made to help analyze how one would go about delivering a quality airline flight experience. The setup here is that one thinks about the various elements that go into producing a particular output. So one, if one's interested in delivering to a customer a quality airline experience, one might consider price, in-flight comfort, baggage handling, uh, ease of check-in for the customer, terminal comfort, on-time performance of one's uh, flights, and so on. Many uh, inputs and one draws in a, a fishbone for each of those basic inputs. Now every one of those basic inputs might have uh, constituent parts. Baggage handling has to do with, well, do the bags get to the right place? Do they get there undamaged? Do Are they quickly available to the uh, people flying. Uh, you can see that by making this kind of a diagram, one is led to think about the varieties of things that, uh, varieties of elements that go into uh, producing a, a, a desired output, and one's thereby pointed at uh, possible needs for data to understand how a particular organization's process is working. As a second tool, one can make a simple process flow diagram. Uh, process flow diagrams are more or less self-evident. Uh, there's nothing particularly complicated about a a process flow diagram, but one thing that I believe I'd like to that I'd like to point out here is that uh, one can often make use of uh, the two dimensions on a sheet of paper or a uh, virtual sheet of paper, and let one of the dimensions represent time order, basically of elements of a process and use the other uh, to indicate some other important variable like physical location or departmental responsibility. 
So here, for example, is a process flow diagram for an air, airline flight made from the point of view of a passenger. Uh, as you go top to bottom here, uh, this is roughly the order in which a typical passenger will uh, go through the steps of coming to an airport, getting on an airplane, uh, and going to a destination. And one could think about then using this left to right dimension to indicate not time but physical location. Or one could use the left to right dimension uh, to indicate uh, uh, areas of, of responsibility, that is, uh, some parts of this flight are under the direct supervision of the airline involved. Uh, others are uh, under governmental supervision. Others are uh, under supervision of a uh, company that run, runs an airport. Uh, any one of those uh, possibilities uh, uh, could be used to lay out the left to right uh, dimension here uh, and help under, help one understand what are the uh, basic elements of a, of a, a successful uh, airline flight, uh, help one figure out where data might be needed to understand how a process is working. Uh, without simple organizational tools like these cause and effect or uh, Ishikawa uh, diagrams and flow charts, uh, you're really, you really have little hope of naming uh, the elements of a complicated process and understanding uh, where attention might be needed, where uh, data might be needed. Uh, these are tools that, they're simple tools, but they're important tools for process improvement.